Morning, peeps. Is it morning? Oh, don't even know what time of day it is. It's about half past one in the afternoon, so good afternoon, peeps. Uh, oh, and hiya. And uh, what's my new catchphrase? Uh, I don't know yet. I still haven't come up with one. Perhaps that will be my catchphrase. I don't know what I'm doing. Um, anyway, I've just watched a little video. Sorry, I mustn't do that in the background. I'll be going up and down for you guys, and it'll make you feel a bit sick. Um, yeah, so anyway, I just watched a little video on uh, Sky News. It wasn't British Sky News. It was Sky News Australia. And they have just released uh, their YouTube video, um, which stipulates that more people have died uh, as from coronavirus than they di did before the lockdown started. There's a higher percentage of people have died because of the lockdown. So the lockdowns have actually made things worse, according to Sky News Australia. How true this is or not, is it's, um, it's up to you to decide. Um, but it's something, something to think about. The other thing as well, uh, because I don't watch um, the BBC anymore uh, and the lies that they spout, um, it, it's, I'm beginning to read more and more stories of people who are having side effects from taking the vaccine. There's, you know, thousands of people have become paralysed. Um, there are thousands of people who are having blood clots. Uh, as well as well as some other uh, condition as a result of the uh, um, you know, uh, having the vaccine as a result of having the vaccine they've had other side effects this is what we were never told by the BBC the BBC continually refrain from telling us what's happening what's, what the real truth is um, you know, and if, like I said before, uh, if you listen to the BBC, if you caught coronavirus, you were going to die. If you caught coronavirus, you were going to be hospitalised and you were going to be put on a ventilator. But that's not true at all. Most people were sent home and had 10 days off sick and got paid for 10 days off sick. As if you were working. If you didn't work, of course, you got nothing. Um, remove hands. Um, yeah, so there you go. Oh, I've just changed. Blinking. Uh, there we go. Exposure lock. That's what happens when you touch the screen with your finger. Anyway. Um, right, so it's worth thinking about, isn't it? Go and have a look at the Sky Australia. Sky News Australia's report on the resulting deaths of lockdown. And of course, that probably doesn't mention the fact that a lot of people... Sorry about that. I just had a little phone call, a scam call. Someone saying that I've been charged £399 by Amazon. They mustn't rock, Andrew. Stop rocking. I'm a bit like my dad. that does annoy and things like that. Um, yeah, anyway, so I'm not rocking. Uh, yep, yeah, so as I was saying, um, there are some stories coming out, horror stories of the um, uh, reactions to this COVID vaccine. Now, um, my, my personal prediction is that childbirth rates will be severely affected in, in the coming nine months or so. We'll, we'll, we'll start to see, say, I will predict within the next year, we will see side effects in childbirth. Um, I hope it doesn't. I hope my prediction doesn't come true. But it's something, something to take serious before uh, you know to seriously consider before you take this co coronavirus vaccine. It's it's scary, scary stuff. Um, but like I said, it's up to you. I'm not telling you to do anything. In fact, I'm telling you to do your own research and make up your own mind and then go ahead and do what you think is best. I can't tell you what's best. No one can. It's up to you. 
Uh, anyway, right, that's enough. I've gone on for a while.